Hello there, Phelps here from the New Age Gamers with a new episode of Games You Should Be Playing. Today we're going to be talking about a cult classic, Jet Set Radio Future. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is Games You Should Be Playing. Shouldn't you be talking about lesser known games that are good? Well, you'd be correct, but just because it has a cult following doesn't mean that a lot of people know about it per se, and who doesn't like its soundtrack? Now, before we can talk about this game, we need to briefly discuss its predecessor, Jet Set Radio, or Jet Set Grind Radio as it is known here in North America. Developed by Smilebit and published by Sega in 2000 for the Sega Dreamcast, it was a revolutionary game, which is said to have spearheaded, if you will, the use of cel-shaded graphics in video games, which some of our current games today can give homage to in their design, such as Borderlands. But enough talking about its predecessor, we are here to talk about Jet Set Radio Future. So after Sega became a software company and no longer a hardware company, with its last major console being the Sega Dreamcast, Sega decided to make a game for Microsoft's new and original console, the Xbox. Now, one of the reasons people don't really remember playing or even seeing this game is because it came on a disc with not one, but two Sega games. The game it was grouped with was Sega GT 2002. Not really a disc you would think to go looking for for a remake of a popular Dreamcast game. But that's just it. S Jet Set Radio Future isn't a sequel, and it's hard to even call it a remake. Jet Set Radio Future was something completely different when compared to the original, and its story of rival gangs and the police interfering with your activities. It adds a level of complexity to the storyline that the series never had. It adds to the story not only the fighting between the rival gangs and police, but also the government stranglehold on freedom of expression and the big corporations and their greed controlling it all. You know, folks, that sounds like it would make a great episode for us. You know, you're right. Take a note of that. Already done. This is where the gameplay gets fun. You start off as a random kid wanting to join a gang of rollerblading teens called the GGs. After becoming an official member by going through the tutorial, easy enough as it is, you get thrown into the action right away by heading off to your first destination to graffiti your gang's logos and such all over. There is a satisfaction to be grinding down railings and etc. to collect the spray cans needed to do so, and if that wasn't it, the parts in which you either get challenged by other teens who later become fellow members who are usable characters, or being attacked by the police also brings a certain element of rebellion to the game that just makes you want to keep on playing. Now the plot might be simple and the gameplay might not be as difficult or challenging as its predecessor, but it doesn't get as much love as it should or should have. And that is why Jet Set Radio Future is a game you should be playing. If you like Japanese pop, graffiti, or just the soundtrack this game has, then this game is for you. I'm Bopes with the New Age Gamers, signing off.